Hi guys, welcome back to Bubble Pop Kids. We're doing a little shimmer and sparkle today. It is the Crazy Art Shimmer and Sparkle Airbrush Tattoo Designer. When I saw this at the store, I just had to get it. This set looks super amazing. Look at all of these cool accessories. I see tons of glitter. There's markers, a little airbrush machine, so many things. And if you look at the back of the box, here's all the pieces that come with this. Ooh, I cannot wait to open this up. It even comes with over 65 pieces. I cannot wait to open this up and see everything inside. Let's do this. Here we go. So the most important accessory in this whole kit is the airbrush machine. Look how pretty this is. It's white and purple. It has all of these designs. It even has like a power cord so you can kind of take it away from the base. And it has two AA batteries, which I already put in there. So we are ready to roll. We also get this little side piece that clips right onto the base here to display all those pretty markers and keep them hooked onto here. Boop, perfect. How can you airbrush without the airbrush markers? We get eight really pretty colors. We get a purple, hot pink, lime green, kind of a turquoise, a sky blue, black, yellowish orange, and a lighter purple. Ooh, I like these. You also, <laughs> so many accessories here, get three of these little glitter pots, kind of a silver, pink, and a purple. I guess these are to brush over the tattoos and make them super sparkly. To accompany that glitter, we also get this brush. Looks like a paintbrush, just to kind of sweep it on there and make it nice and neat. Boop. The glitter cannot stick on its own, so it gives you this little tube of body glue to put on your skin, so it'll make everything stick. This kind of looks like a lip gloss. <laughs> Even though it's not, you just put the glue right on. Super cool. Here are some foils. I'm not exactly sure what these are for. I haven't read the directions yet, but they are really, really pretty. They kind of look like the foils when you do your nails. They rub all of that color onto it. We get a silver, purple, ooh, I like this gold, blue, and another purple. How cool is this? We even get this glittery tattoo gel pen. It's kind of like a silvery, metallic color. I guess this is to outline the airbrush one sheet of these really pretty gem stickers to dazzle up the tattoos, kind of make them look 3D, and I'm loving all these colors. There's the final accessories, and probably the most important ones besides that little airbrush machine, these are the stencils. It's kind of hard to see them, but these are pretty much stickers. You just peel them off, stick them on your skin, and make these beautiful patterns, like hearts. These kind of look like little zigzag designs. Ooh, we also get these, some hearts, stars, little peace sign. Ooh, I like that rose. So there's so, so many different ones to choose from. And they're kind of hard to see until you peel them. But we're going to try so many of them and see what they look like. How about we put all of our little markers in the base here so we can get started. Cannot wait. I'm so curious to see if this is going to work. I have no idea. Alrighty guys, so it looks like we have everything we need to get started. Let's set this up and make some airbrush tattoos. And stay tuned, because at the end of the show, I'm going to have a surprise lip gloss. And instead of doing the tattoo on my hands, I think I'm just going to do it on some white paper so you guys can see the super bright colors. So you just have to separate this from the rest of the stencils, and I think you just peel the top back like a giant sticker. Ooh, here it is. Oops, I go easy. I don't want to rip this. Ah. There we go. So this piece is just to throw in the garbage. And this is the one that you would put on your hand, although I'm going to do it on paper so it's really clear. Here is the stencil on the paper, all ready to go. And you don't always have to use this as body art. You can use it on notebooks, put it on your little diary. Just make cute little airbrush designs everywhere. I just read the instructions and this machine seems super simple to operate. So I put the batteries in already, two double A's. 
you just switch it to the on position and you're gonna hit this button. So the first thing we have to do is make sure this little lever is all the way up and we're gonna put one of the markers in there. How about we go with this blue, it's such a pretty color. You're just gonna remove the cap, you see the tip there and you're gonna stick it right through and a little bit of the tip is gonna be sticking out of there. Now you're just gonna move this lever down a little bit, probably to halfway. The further down it is, the more ink sprays out, so maybe I'll just put it right in the middle. See how that's gonna work. So maybe I'll make the bottom of the cuppy cake blue and I'll do pink on the top. Let's do this. I'm just gonna press this button right here. Ooh, I hope this works. Whoa. <laughs> Something's spilling out of here. I think it is working. That is so cool. I could show it to you on my hand, but this is gonna be a much clearer vision of it. Just a little more. Ooh, that's gonna look pretty. Oops, and since I got some of the blue kind of up in the cupcake cream, I'll just put a little Try to make it like tie-dye. I'm also gonna spray some pink in there. This is so, so cool. So, I'm gonna put the pink one in here. I'm just gonna cap this so it doesn't dry out. Here, and go for this hot pink. Ooh, that's gonna look really cool. Put it right in the machine. Ooh, and here comes the pink. The pink doesn't come out as strong as the blue one did. I'm not sure why. But I'm just gonna keep pressing it. I actually switched it out to this light purple color because the pink wasn't working too great. I guess we're doing a blue and purple cupcake. And when you're finished with your airbrushing, you can just stick it right back on the base. Let's peel this back and see how it came out. So, so cute. There it is, our cupcake. You do see a little purple and a little bit of pink, but the blue is super bright. I think that was the best color so far. And just imagine if this was on your skin, it would look so, so cool to wear to like a birthday party or something like that. Let's do another one. And before we do another one, you can actually dazzle this up a little bit with some little gem stickers. Make it look really, really cute. How about for the next one, we go with this pretty butterfly design. It's got these little twirlies on the side of it. Gonna look good. And another thing I should mention, this gets your hands super messy and full of markers. I'm sure they're washable because it washes off the skin, but just to let you know, it is kind of messy. So just like with that little cupcake, we're just gonna peel this piece back. Whoa, whole lot of design going on. And <laughs> that is so, so pretty. And stick it on the paper. Or this would be really cute like on your wrist. Kind of look like a tattoo bracelet. Another thing you're gonna wanna do between colors, you should just take out the marker and wipe this off, maybe with like a little paper towel or a baby wipe, just to make sure all of the markers don't run into each other. Hmm, so for this butterfly, what color can we use? I'm thinking this yellowish orange and maybe this turquoise. When you load the pen into the airbrush machine, you have to make sure this little piece is all the way up pop it in and move it to the middle. Let's do this. Oh yeah, the yellow is definitely coming out. I don't know, for some reason the pink didn't work so well, but the yellow's working. I love this. So much fun. I think we have our little butterfly filled in enough. Now I'm gonna take this turquoise green and do the little details. So I'm just gonna pull this up, pop this out, 
give it a little wiping because it's all yellow. You don't want to mix up the colors. Pop the green one in. Ooh, that is a good color. It's kind of like a seafoam green. Good choice. To give it a cool kind of tie-dye effect, I'm just going to go over it with a little bit of yellow. See how that's going to look. Time to reveal this butterfly. Cannot wait. Whoa, <laughs> that is so, so pretty. That yellow came out really golden, kind of looks a little orangey than those little yellow speckles. How about for the little butterfly head, we put a little pink gem and one in each of its wings. Another beautiful stencil. Now just imagine if that was wrapped around your wrist like a little bracelet. Amazing. It's kind of like the ones they do at the fairs or the carnivals, but you could do it on your own. And here is the cupcake. I am loving both of these. Let's make another. How about this little shooting star? But for the star, we do a little purple and black. Let's try this. So I made the two little stars purple, and I'm going to make this cool little squiggly design black. Okay. Put this in. Get it into position. Here we go. The black looks so cool when it comes out of this airbrush gun. It looks like little pieces of sand. I don't know why. It is the coolest color so far. Time to pull this back and reveal. Ooh, <laughs> really good one. That's a really cool one to put like on your shoulder blade or even on your foot. Would look so cute with sandals in the summer. And I'll put some little stars. Let's make one more with the little airbrush machine, then I'll show you how to make one with the glitter. And this zebra print is so cool. Kind of looks like a zebra bracelet. For this one, I think I'm going to go with a rainbow airbrush. Let's see this one with all these different colors. Ooh, so cool. That looks like a jungle print. Really, really pretty. It looks like little speckles of sand <laughs> and exactly like zebra stripes. So I think we've had our fun with this little airbrush today. It worked really, really good. I'm gonna put it in the off position, place it on the base, and do some glitter tattoos. So the next kind of tattoo we're gonna do is with the glue and the glitter, and I think I'm gonna go with this pretty heart. Here 
here's your body glue. Kind of looks like a lip gloss container. And you're just going to make this whole area filled with glue. And then sprinkle on the glitter. Right here I have my three little glitter pots and my brush. I am just going to dabble a little on and see if it works. Ooh, I like this one too. The airbrush was really pretty, but these sparkles are so, so amazing looking. Of all five of our little tattoo creations, I think I have two favorites, this butterfly and that cupcake. So after playing with this airbrush machine, I have to say I loved it. I wish the airbrush was a little bit stronger and pumped out the color a little harder to make it brighter, but it was super good. The only thing was the pink didn't work too well. And now it is lip gloss time. I told you I had a surprise one. Here it is. This is a Hydro Care Lip Balm in mint flavor. Ooh. And before I start opening this lip balm, do not mind my hands. This machine was so, so messy. It just got all in my fingers and I tried to wash it, but it's not coming out too great. So probably by the end of the day. <laughs> but don't worry, it's just the markers we were using. Ooh, look at this. I am in love with this little minty green color. Such a cute little shape. Here it is. Ooh, it kind of looks like a baby lips. And it smells amazing. It smells kind of like spearmint or wintergreen. It's not like a peppermint. Mm, really, really fresh scented. And I put some on my lips, super moisturizing. I really, really like this one. I think I have this in like red or pink, but the green minty scent is even better. So there it is, guys, the Shimmer and Sparkle Airbrush Tattoo Design Studio. I love this. I wish it was a little bit brighter, but it came out super pretty. And we are going to have so many more fun videos coming up on the show. This is Bubble Pop Kids. You can click this big red subscribe button here and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day. Bye.